Guys, something unusual happened this time while looking at the client's database and this is what we observed was the client like one of the most important table that the client had and that table had more number of indexes than the number of columns. So this is your DBA challenge. Do you think this is normal or something like this can happen or do you think there is an impact of having more number of indexes than the number of columns on your database performance? Meanwhile, let us start the show. Welcome back guys, Arun this side with another episode of Daily DBA Show and one of the main reasons why today my energy levels are high because guys recently we launched Oracle DBA internships with DBA Genesis and I would like to congratulate all the DBAs who are selected as part of the first internship ever that is being conducted at DBA Genesis and I have already started working with the DBAs who are selected for the internship but don't worry I think you don't have have to be disheartened uh, thinking that okay uh, you missed the opportunity nothing like that guys this was a beta program while we released an email to some set of DBAs just to test how they are or how this program will work all right so for you in case if you would be interested in any of the Oracle DBA internships with us technically it will be me that you will be working directly in Oracle DBA internships what you can do is go to dbagenesis.com and on the top right corner you will see a new tab called internships click on that tab go through all the terms and conditions if you feel you are eligible for Oracle DBA internships with DBA Genesis click on the apply button and submit your application right and guys only people who are selected for this internship will be contacted back and let's take if you don't get any communication from us I apologize you might have to try it out sometime later in the future that being said keep continuing to send me your queries to support at dbagenesis.com and also put your comment below these videos and guys don't forget my vision I am trying everything possible to reach every single DBA on this planet and please 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 help me in this vision try to spread the word as much as possible try to get your DBA friends on our platform we all have to build the biggest DBA community online that being said and with my vision in mind let us start our today's episode with the first question of the day what basic stats are gathered when we run dbms stats package guys this is something like related to performance tuning and understand see i i mean use logic okay you don't need some book knowledge or you don't need uh, some details from me in order to answer questions like this most of the times you have to think logically uh, so understand if oracle optimizer wants to find data out of the table so assume like what all details will help optimizer to find the data faster so like if you have stats on the number of records inside the table amazing it will help optimizer right if you have details about the number of data blocks awesome it will help optimizer right if you have data about the number of distinct values inside a column that will also help optimize it right and if you have like details about the null values inside a particular column that will also help optimizer like I mean these are basic terms you don't need uh, a book knowledge or you don't need to read about it somewhere just think logically like every detail about a table which helps optimizer find the records faster and also generate an optimal execution plan for the queries of course I have given you a couple of details but apart from that also the average row length and the minimum and maximum values inside a column these all are the stats that are gathered by Oracle for a particular uh, schema table or other objects inside the database that being said a quick daily DBA challenge for all of you you guys tell me at what point of time inside the Oracle database Oracle gathers 
stats all right now in case you might have a production database so one i mean when and where or which time exactly oracle is gathering these stats right and also one more tricky question for all of you how does oracle define like which particular table to gather these stats for right this is your dba challenge i would like to hear from you and meanwhile let's move on to the next question what sample size should i use guys to keep it very simple and straightforward always go with auto sample size i personally do not recommend putting any percentage like 10% 20% or 100% i remember one of the pocs that we performed the auto sample size and the 100% when you use 100% sample size the results were almost exactly same so oracle is much intelligent i would say in this matter that when you use auto sample size it knows as to how many records are to be considered for sampling purpose so i would i mean it's i'm i'm sharing my personal experience i have always used the auto sample size for all the clients every database whenever there was any client's requirement it was always auto sample size i do not go with 10% 20% 50 100% i don't like it i mean that's how i am or i guess you can also steal this idea from me so when it comes to sample size always go with the default one trust me you can actually depend on the auto sample size you don't have to think about like you know 10% 20% 50% just don't do it meanwhile let's move on to the next one what types of stats are considered by optimizer if you see these questions now i feel that our dba community is slowly moving towards the uh, performance tuning questions and guys trust me one of the most priority thing in my list is to start a show on oracle performance tuning i know it's long pending but we'll start any which ways but meanwhile let me connect this question back to the first question understand uh like we have stats that are gathered for a table couple of stats right which we discussed earlier the average row length number of records uh what are the null values inside a column and average row length block size minimum maximum values inside the column now all this data is required by the oracle optimizer in order to design an execution plan for the query it's very simple and straightforward but understand guys it is not always only about the table it is more than the table inside oracle see the optimizer of course it looks for the table stats it will also look for the index stats it will also look at the column stats and the most interesting part it also looks at system stats now what are the system stats like you have dictionary tables you have the oracle database system right so these dictionary tables also require stats to be gathered and this all happens internally right oracle gathers stats for the dictionary tables as well now those stats are also taken into consideration while designing the execution part or sorry execution plan for the query by the optimizer right so what are the things that are considered by the optimizer while generating an execution plan are number 1 is table stats second is column stats third is index stats and fourth one the most important one and which people kind of like ignore that is system stats right so i think these are the main stats that are considered by optimizer before it generates the execution plan i think one of the best interview questions which you can consider So let's jump on to the next question of the day. I want to consolidate data from multiple production databases into one Oracle staging database. How can I achieve it? I think it's one of the simplest answer. I would love to give one word answer for this question, but let us elaborate a little bit for our friend. So guys, to consolidate, okay? Consolidation, I mean, what are the tools used for database consolidation? So the first one is the Oracle multi-tenant architecture but over here I believe the data needs to be consolidated from multiple platforms on a regular basis now if that is the case you actually need a replication tool 
Now, which is the best replication tool in the market? We all know Oracle Golden Gate. So I guess you can use Oracle Golden Gate or any other replication tool out there in the market to consolidate your environment into one of the data warehouses or any other database like I think that's the best answer. One word answer to this question would be Oracle Golden Gate. All right, let's move on to the next question. How can I restore indexes while restoring dropped table? Again, guys, I would still say it is also one word answer. So when you drop a table, I think rather than me asking or me answering this question, I should ask you guys this question. Okay. So what happens when you drop a table? So will Oracle drop the index? If yes, then when you are restoring the table back, what happens to the index? Actually, you guys tell me in the comments what will happen. And I would love in case if somebody can execute this on a database system, take this as your DBA challenge. I know we have a couple of or actually more number of DBA challenge in this episode, but that's perfectly okay. So someone please execute this on your system. And if you can put down all the commands in the comments while testing this one, so what happens to the index when you are trying to restore the drop table from the recycle bin? That's the question number one. I think the second question would be, you tell me when you drop a table, what happens to the index? Like the drop table goes into recycle bin. So will Oracle delete the index or index will still be inside the database or even index will be in the recycle bin? Like what happens? This is question number two. I would love to see your answers in the comment. And meanwhile, guys, let us move on to the most exciting part. And that is the bonus question. Guys, one question which I feel like each one of you should know is because recently when I was taking an interview and I got to know like, I mean, whatever question I was asking the candidate and the candidate was saying, no, I don't know. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay, no, I, I have, I mean, no, it was a blunt no. And trust me guys, I mean, it became irritating. Like the conversation became awkward and I was feeling like, I, I mean, I wanted to stop it, but I couldn't. By the way, uh, I, I think let's come to the point. The deal is guys, when you don't know anything in an interview, the best part is rather than saying a blunt no, there is a good way to say it. You can always say that, you know what, I have a fair knowledge about XYZ, but I never got a chance to work on it. Understand uh, you have to keep soft while answering the questions that you don't know or you have never worked on. And, and that's something I wanted to share with each one of you guys. See, if you don't know, never say no. Always say, I never got a chance to work on this or probably you can always throw uh, or put the burden on your seniors. You can say that in my current project, the seniors are not allowing me, me to touch XYZ system or XYZ technology. And that's why I don't know or I don't have practical hands-on knowledge, but I have fair knowledge about the topic. That way it sounds uh, pretty uh, pleasing and it actually sounds very convincing because we are also DBS and we understand that in most of the environments, the junior DBS are not allowed to touch the main production systems. And those kind of uh, scenarios are something we also understand. So I think rather than saying a blunt no, which I would recommend no one should use in any of the interviews. And uh, okay, one more thing guys, let's take if the interviewer is asking you something which is not at all related to DBA job. For example, you are going for a DBA job and the interviewer is asking like, uh, okay, what's your knowledge on, uh, have you worked on programming, PL, uh, SQL, or do you know how to write a loop? In those kind of scenarios, you can always say that, you know what, this is actually out of my uh, job roles, current job roles, because I'm a DBA and I'm more focused on the Oracle DBA activities, right? Uh, so there is always a way or there is always a, yeah, I mean, there is always a way to say no, never say no directly or bluntly because it sometimes might sound offending, right? Good luck with your next DBA interview in case if you're going for or good luck with your next project interviews. And meanwhile, I'll take a leave guys. 
I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.